Good afternoon, everybody. This is Johnny Seville with Acorn Wealth, and this is your executive summary for stock setups for Friday. Okay, well, uh, of course, let's have a look. The S&P 500 so far has continued to obey the open range. Obviously, we have broken negatively from the Friday open range that was set, and uh, we've gone down yes, uh, on, on Tuesday, we've gone down on Wednesday, and we've continued down today. So um, obviously, as you can see, op uh, money flow has now broken negatively as of today as well. So, so far, so good. Uh, no huge moves, but as you can see, we're currently sitting on that moving average. So if we do break through that tomorrow, that would uh, certainly be a catalyst to, to uh, on the SPY, bring us down to 265. So um, as you can see right now, things are still uh, holding that bearish trend until that, uh, again, that resets uh, on March 1st. <coughs> High yield bonds, as you can see, uh, has also obeyed this negative bias. So you can see it's rolling over underneath the moving average and closed in the bottom half of the range of its candle as well, with money flow also being negative. And uh, if we go to the um, stocks above or below the 50-day moving average, as you can see, stocks still not able to uh, to uh, to get a leg up and uh, closing bearishly on that indicator as well. So everything's still holding the bearish sentiment. Uh, uh, so look ahead. Um, most stocks were pretty flat today. There wasn't any really big moves uh, in in either direction. Um, if we take a look at the uh, the ones that we had uh, checked out last night uh, in that summary, ALGN, as you can see, uh, uh, didn't break a new high. It's still kind of holding. If we just go to my template here, get a better look. There you go. So as you can see, the um, are still holding underneath that head and shoulders for now. Um, obviously, um, downward neckline, head and shoulders potential there, uh, as we indicated in the uh, possible reversal area in last night's summary. Uh, again, uh, that's a, a the most aggressive entry point where you're basically trying to short the the first test of that resistance. So we'll see if that rolls over, but um, so far holding underneath resistance. Uh, PFGC. Uh, as you can see, that held bearishly again, uh, closing in the bottom half of the range. Money flow still being um, quite negative. And um, what was the other one here? We had uh, uh, TRMB, which is uh, which again closed in the bottom half of its range as well. And I'll just take this Fibonacci off so we can get a bit of the scale back in the chart. There we go. Uh, as you can see, that one uh, certainly closed bearishly, um, making a new low over yesterday's candle. So uh, that one's uh, looking really good also. Now, one we'll talk about in trading room tonight, uh, AOS. Uh, keep your eyes on this one. This one's also uh, uh, challenging its resistance. I already own puts in AOS and have held them for a while. Uh, this one may be something worth looking at. We'll talk about it more extensively in trading room, but uh, that could certainly be one to uh, to check out if this uh, bearish sentiment happens. 74% uh, selling um, in terms of transactions. If you have a look at uh, some of the um, insiders here, <clears throat> AOS, you can see some some sizable transactions even uh, in early February, a hundred percent sell from uh, William Grubel, and uh, again you can if we go back, seventy four percent sell from senior vice president, chief information officer, thirty three percent here from executive vice president and chief financial officer, only just about what less than ten days ago, um, uh, and then of course uh, two days ago. Um, chief uh, so Chairman of the Board and CEO selling. So there's uh, there's quite a lot of uh, uh, interest in the, uh, the in protecting their capital, obviously from the insider standpoint. And if you want to check out some of the options here, uh, we can always uh, pop over to uh, Yahoo Finance, check out some of the options here. Um, there's not uh, huge amounts. There's lots of calls here in March. Um, either that's uh, protecting a short position or uh, speculating on the long. But if you go out starting to go into April, you can see the open interest starts to develop uh, in some of those. And if we go to July, again, you can see it actually increases substantially. Um, unusual volume activity happening there on the $55 puts. As you can see, we're currently trading at 65. Um, the implied volatility on some of the um, the higher ones isn't too bad. So uh, I would probably be looking at the uh, the 65 um, July puts, which are currently two. Dollars ninety-five, and uh, from a target standpoint, I think this could get uh, down to the fifty-three dollar range. So um, uh, one to take a look at, and uh, in terms of uh, looking at a stop loss, one could be looking at say, for example, uh, I give it a bit of a generous stop. Be looking at say sixty-eight, sixty-seven. Um, again, that's uh, <laughs> only a few dollars away. It's only three dollars away from where it's currently at. Um, so sixty-eight, sixty-seven would uh, would protect that recent high. 
and that's again only three bucks to the upside of in terms of stop loss with a potential downside of uh, twelve dollars so uh, three dollars versus twelve as you can see basically a four to one risk reward ratio so you've got a good risk reward ratio you've got a good um, you got a solid pattern you've got solid insider selling um, so uh, not bad for a uh, for a speculative short and uh, and that's you know really what it comes back to putting together the smart money and the patterns. So that would be the uh, that would be the one for today. Um, and uh, of course, uh, in the context of patterns, and a lot of people have uh, been waiting for the next patterns course. Uh, again, the uh, we have announced the start date. So uh, put it in your calendar. We will be commencing the patterns and probabilities next course on Mar the week of March 19th. So um, the uh, third week of March, we will be uh, commencing the patterns and probabilities course. So we normally only do this once a year, uh, usually at the end of the year, but again, due to the uh, uh, these current market conditions, uh, it is obviously you know, pretty critical that uh, if you don't understand all the ins and outs of patterns and uh, how to scan for them and things like that, you know, this is the perfect time to be, to be learning this as it is really the road map to the stock market. Um, so what we'll be going through in the course is why the patterns are so critical to market structure and trading. I mean, patterns come into everything. How we predict the S&P, how we predict high yield bonds, what trades we look for, which ones are the better, which, which, which trades we take versus the ones we put aside. Um, you know, all of that comes down to patterns. The probability, when we get in, when we get out, uh, when we simply stay in and update the stop loss because there's more gains to be made. All of that comes back down to patterns. So we're going to be teaching you the patterns that exist, we're going to be teaching you the ones to ignore and the ones to focus on. And really, there are five core patterns that you want to uh, focus on out of the 100 plus that exist. And if you didn't realize there's 100 plus, then that just goes to show why important it is to understand this further and in a much more in-depth process. So we'll tell you why these are the ones to focus on, what those probabilities are. And I mean, this has been my passion for the last 13 years is, um, is focusing on these things and, and developing these systems on how to trade them. So we're going to teach you all of that. Um, We've been going through the exact entry and exit criteria of each of the patterns. Um, there's high probability entries, um, high risk reward ratio entries. We go through all the different options and what the pros and cons are of each of them. Um, and uh, and you don't have to wait till March 20th or March 19th to, to get started. Uh, you will receive the eight on-demand modules right away, so you can get started on those and start going through some of those material if you like. If you're one of those studious people that likes to get ahead of the class, <laughs> and then of course we'll be going through uh, the live classes will commence in the third week of March um, on a uh, on a rotating schedule. We'll have two classes a week on Monday and Wednesday evening. They will go for uh, an hour and a half to two hours each lesson. Um, so Monday, Wednesday, then you'll have a one-week break so you can practice run the scans, trade the patterns, everyone will submit their favorite trades, and then as a group, we'll follow along with all those setups that we find, and uh, of course, uh, ideally, uh, make some money along the way. Um, you'll have uh, you'll have one-on-one -on -one support, uh, homework to, to do from each class to, uh, to make sure that you're getting it, rules and visual references, all of the do's and don'ts. I mean, it's not just about teaching you what the pattern is, it's about showing you um, the patterns where people think that it's a pattern when it's really not. Showing you patterns that, that, that disguise themselves but they fake out and you think you're getting in and it ends up going against you showing you all the ways not to trade the patterns as well as the rules of how to trade the ones you should so it's a it's a very very comprehensive course um, and the whole idea is to just give you a sets of rules that are easy to follow black and white yes or no decisions so you have clarity consistency proven rules and systems it's what I manage every single dollar in my account with is based on these rules um, and when you have rules that replaces emotions you don't doesn't doesn't get them doesn't delete them you know, the emotions don't go away but it means they don't affect your decisions because you know that this is the way you should trade this based on thousands of times as patterns have happened before uh, and of course when you have those rules it allows you to replicate that decision making through scanning for them every single day um, we will be supporting you through the one-on-one -on -one support um, this is a passion project of course from us so through the whole process, we're going to be uh, there with you to make sure that um, you're, uh, you know, taking on that information and executing it properly with that same clarity and consistency that we'll be teaching you with.
So um, once again, you can enrol. Uh, we are doing a members discount. Uh, the uh, price of the course is fourteen ninety seven. We will be releasing that uh, officially to the public next week. Um, so the early bird special, if you want to enrol now before that launch happens next Wednesday, is only nine ninety seven. So you save yourself five hundred bucks, and you can do that by going to acornwealthcorp.com forward slash patterns. So again, that five hundred dollar discount uh, before that's released on Wednesday evening at fourteen ninety seven. So I um, uh, hope you'll join us and uh, I will leave you tonight with some of the comments from our customers who've recently taken the course. Enjoy. G'day, this is uh, John Seville here. We're here with uh, Kevin Holmes uh, at the Chicago Super Trader Summit. Uh, welcome, Kevin. Hey, how are you? Good. Good been to great. see you. Been <laughs> great. Been a great couple of days. Uh, how long have you been with us, Kevin? You want to stay uh, the well, recently just been back with you just a little over a year here now. I uh, was with you before, but I was working all the time. Didn't really have a chance to, to really do what I wanted to do. So now I'm back with Acorn. So glad I did. I'm retired now. Didn't want to go back in because I was always afraid I'd just have to do all this work to trade. Don't have to do that with Acorn. I learned the strategies. I learned the scans. I mean, it just takes all the guesswork out of everything that I need to do here. And I just follow this man here because this guy knows what he's doing. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and uh, been rocking it ever since. So Acorn's, Acorn's the bomb. Acorn's the bomb. So. Uh, very clear, very concise information. Excellent service, customer service. I couldn't be happier with the customer service. Um, and then, of course, I was set up with my teacher, Greg. And he took one step at a time. So it was little baby steps I could easily understand. And, and when I had difficulty in an area, he helped me review that area. And then we proceeded further. But I, I've learned already, just in the year, so much. And I, I just can't imagine um, how I would have done if I had learned all this previously. So all I can say is thank God for Acorn. Because uh, if it weren't, wasn't for I'll Acorn... I'll on that. <laughs> <laughs> You no, know, as too. If I wasn't for Acorn, um, I would be. I was feeling sort of uh, almost desperate, um, bewildered. Like I didn't know what was going on in the market. I didn't have the right tools anymore to sort of determine how to to pick the best trades. And and now I feel somewhat. I feel empowered by what Acorn has taught me. Just one or two. Obviously, through that year and a half, what's caused you to stay? Uh, what, what has been the things that, you know, obviously working with Acorn that you found to be really valuable that you've uh, chosen to continue your trading journey with us? Well, the, the simplicity of it, uh, but the effectiveness of it. It's simple, yet it's profound. And, and I'm learning that even since the last time we talked, uh, had some real good results uh, in, in the market. And, uh, you know, with, with little capital, because uh, I'm still learning, and however, just seeing the results and the fact of how you present information again with real numbers, with real trades, and seeing the results of those and thinking, this is real. This isn't, you know, so, some of the other <laughs> people that I've looked at, they blow things out of proportion. And and you know, and, and so what has, the, the question is, what has kept me here? The lack of the hyperbole. This is real, this is simple. And this is profound. Do you, you know, I want that. That that's why I'm here. That's what's kept me here. Because I I checked out some different ones, and they all had some good things to teach. But yours was so comprehensive because you didn't just talk about chart patterns like most of them do. You you look at uh, so many other areas. Like I said, the money flow was one of them, but also what the short uh, flow is, um, what the insider selling or purchasing, you know, buying was just so many things at all. It's like all these stars had to line up in order to make the highest probability trade possible. And I really love that. So if you had um, to tell the audience, what would be the main thing that separates us from anything else you've done? Uh, the simplicity. And it, that really is so true. Like I sat here and listened to the other guys and went, oh man, that just seems so complicated. I'm just going, like, I don't want a job. I don't want another job. I'm retired <laughs> now. I want it simple. He said it was easy. Like, you know, keep it, it was, simple. Keep it simple, stupid. And I'm kind of stupid here, so I made it simple. This acorn helps me to keep it simple, and I really, really, really enjoy that. So, uh, anyways. Uh, thank you. That's awesome. Well, I think you've probably already said it, but uh, to summarize, what would you say to anyone considering taking on a mentoring uh, uh, role with us? 
definitely do it. You will enjoy it every step of the way. I used to look forward to it. Nobody could call me or do anything on a Thursday night because that's when I had my class. <laughs> and gosh forbid anybody disturb me on that night. And that's still the case. What you put in, in this case, you can get out multiple times. Uh, and so it's, it's, it's worth it. it. It's give it an opportunity, give it a shot. And, uh, and you know, every, like for me, the way you teach, the way Greg coaches, it's a fit. But I wouldn't know that if I didn't give it a chance. Uh, so one last question. What would you say to anyone out there who's considering taking a course with Acorn? Don't even hesitate. <laughs> Just do it. Thanks, mate.